Hi, I'm Zahava, and I want people to embody more love. I am a dancer, a body worker, a coach, and a performing artist. My work in the world is to support social change leadership. And I want to tell you a little bit about my story, why I'm doing this, and how it's a unique approach. I grew up 15 minutes from the White House. My father was a lobbyist on Capitol Hill. He taught me to value changing society and institutions and politics on a collective level. My mother was about personal transformation. She's an amazing therapist. And she was focused on the emotions, and often healing past traumas. So growing up with these two lenses, I became fascinated by how could I have a powerful impact on the world doing what I love and enjoying it. I heard a quote recently that said, ending suffering is not worth it unless it's rooted in joy and love. And it really struck me. Because what I noticed was that in a lot of social justice communities, I was finding a lot of people who were getting burnt out, who were feeling repeatedly angry, who were often identifying as a victim or a martyr. And this started to limit our capacity to have thriving, creative, juicy relationships with each other and relationships with how we saw our, our purpose in life. And so as someone who loves sex, loves Tantra, loves dance, loves all these things that are so playful and creative and juicy, I became curious about how can I support people up to social change so that we are more aware of the joy of our innovation the juiciness and authenticity of our relationships and that we're connected not only to the purpose but the pleasure in what we're doing and how we're caring for the world. So I want to tell you that last year, after about 10 years of focusing on white privilege awareness, I started a really different approach for how to do that work. It involved dance. It involved reverence of our ancestors and storytelling about who we came from. It involved celebration. It involved dreaming together about what we want to replace racism with. It involved revealing to each other the healing that we want to call in for ourselves personally. It was a courageous space, but most importantly, it was a space that was easy to say yes to because it was compelling and it was fun. And this was different than the kind of social activism that I had been seeing before. Where it seemed like often when we would invite people to join us, they would feel overwhelmed. So what I've done is designed a way to give people more grace and resource, more emotional availability, more connection and presence to their body, in the way that they're approaching their work in the world. So what does that look like? There are three components to my work. The first is you get on the table and we do Esalen massage. And that's a way for me to lay my hands on you and to release the deep tension patterns that are in your soft tissue and your structure. And that gives you more breath more flow, and more feeling. And from that place of being resourced, it shifts your emotions and your perspective on your life. That's when we go into stage two. The second component is transformational coaching. And this is going to focus on your leadership skills, your personal growth, your love life, and your sexual empowerment. Because let me tell you, as much as we want the world to be a better place, if we don't have a felt sense of how good it feels 
to be alive and to be in connection with people that we absolutely adore and respect and feel seen by, then it's really hard to attract the future that we desire because we don't have a baseline and point of reference of what that feels like. It starts in our immediate relation to ourself and our loved ones. The third component, so number one is body work, number two is coaching, and the third component is movement. How are we posturing ourselves in the world? How are we moving through the world? Do we know about containment and flow and timing in a way that supports us? And using movement, whether that's us doing some dancing, some yoga, some deep core Pilates, I'm activating my purpose kind of movement, is a way of reorganizing you around your truth. So I cannot wait to work with you and to share these tools of embodiment and presence with you. You can get started now by clicking below and starting to answer the questions. I will reach out to you and I look forward to supporting you in embodying more love.